I don't know what the situation with Steven Nelson. Steven Nelson wants three million. The Eagles are saying no, we're not paying three million. But there's other options that the Eagles could possibly go for. Now, a New England cornerback, there's two New England cornerbacks who are unhappy, obviously. The biggest one that everybody's talking about is JC Jackson, a 26-year-old cornerback that wants a new deal. It's not happy with New England for some reason, somehow. The Patriots are trying to find a way to sign their number one shutdown cornerback in Stephon Gilmore, who wants to be paid too. Wants more money. Doesn't feel like his contract is valuable to what he plays at. Doesn't feel like his contract matches what he's producing on the field. He wants to be paid like what he produces on the field, a lead cornerback. Xavier Howard is unhappy with the Miami Dolphins. Garen Conley, the free agent cornerback that could be a very underrated move. Um, he was a very guy, he was a guy that I was really high on the Eagles drafting in 2016. Or I'm sorry, 2017. He's a free agent cornerback. Has not lived up to what his number one potential. But Jonathan Gannon is very good at turning cornerbacks. Like Xavier Hatt Rhodes was looking like a bum. Went to the Colts. Became a starter. Right away, elite player, a pro bowl. He could take Garan Conley and make him that damn good. The Philadelphia Eagles have to get this corner situation fixed. How do you do that? We have Zach Ertz, who we don't know the situation. I made a video yesterday. Hopefully that video uploaded today. Sorry guys, I'm working on my data. My data I'm using right now to make my videos. My Wi-Fi went down. A tree hit it when the storm came. I don't know what's going on, but I'll get it figured out eventually. JC Jackson is a very interesting guy that I would be very excited to get. If you can add another cornerback with Darius Slay, you make this team not only better, but you just you basically covered all your weaknesses. You got a number one receiver in Devontae Smith, who's a Heisman winner on trophy. You draft you moved up. The Eagles did not feel like Asante Samuel Jr. was a leader, a, a lead cornerback. They didn't draft the cornerback at in, in, in all into the third round and Zach McPherson, who we don't know anything that much about. You have Craven on the Blanc still on the free agency, who I will not mind bringing back. I'm not a fan of him, but if you can find a way to get one of those four cornerbacks I mentioned, that'd be better. But if you can't, Craig Allen LeBlanc would be a very good name to pick up. Like I say, he's not horrible. He's not as good as people think he is. You need a number one, need another corner to go with Darius Slay. Opposite Darius Slay. Is Steven Nelson willing to sign for less? I don't think so. I don't think Steven Nelson is going to come to Philly. I think some team is going to overpay for him. And they're going to sign him. You know what I'm saying? That's what I just think is going to happen. I don't think Steven Nelson is going to come to Philly. He would have signed already. He's asking way for too much and the Eagles are not willing to pay him that much. I don't know how that's going to end, but... The Eagles could trade for a cornerback. They did it when they needed a corner, and they traded Jordan Matthews for Ronald Darby. Obviously, Ronald Darby had one good year and stunk. Does the Eagles make a move to go get another corner in the trade? Is the Patriots cornerback J.C. Jackson a name the Eagles are very high up on to try to get and re like trade for? Are they trying to tank for next year for a cornerback that 
you know, like a Derek Steen Jr. who I'm not really high up on. I watched this guy's, listen, I watched his film. He gets burned a lot. He doesn't have consistent with, with coverage. That's what I hope we don't get. If that's who we're trying to tank for, my advice to every Eagle fan and every franchise, especially Howard Rosen, do not. I'd rather trade those picks and get a cornerback like J.C. Jackson than draft a Derek Stingley, who's another version of Ronald Darby slash Sidney Jones. He's such an overrated cornerback. He's not a lead like everybody thinks he is. Now we'll see what he does in 2021, but he was horrible in 2020. He was horrible. He was not good. He was not a lead. In 19, he was not a lead, in my opinion. I watched this guy. I watched LSU football. I knew about Jamar Chase coming in. What are the Eagles going to do at corner? It's what I'm curious about and what a lot of Eagle fans are, are really interested to see because our secondary stink. If you feel comfortable with this second and go in, more praise to you because I don't. I can't sit there and say that our secondary, I'm comfortable going in the season. I feel good with the offense. I feel good with Jalen Hurts and his weapons that he has. I feel good with the defensive tackle. I feel good with, I don't feel good with these corners other than Darius Slay. You need to get another corner that's going to grow and be a tribute to Darius Slay success. Unless Jonathan Gannon doesn't feel like he needs another corner. He's just going to throw out people and he's going to make everything better, which I hope. That's not the case. Go get a corner that's going to help. You got enough. Listen, you got three first round picks. If you can get a JC Jackson, you can make this team better. Go do it. Do it. Why wouldn't you want to do it? You make this team better. You make this team better by getting talent that fits your need and fit what you're looking for. I'd rather trade for a cornerback that's going to produce and be good and work those picks than draft a cornerback that hasn't done shit in LSU. It's probably the most overrated cornerback coming out. I don't care, I don't like Derek Stingley Jr. I'm not, I'm one of the biggest haters of Derek Stingley Jr. I don't like his game. He's so slow to me. I watched this dude with Jordan, the, the dude got destroyed in Georgia. And every time he gets a pick, it's because the quarterback stinks. He's not a lead corner. I'm sorry, if you think Derek Stingley is going to produce and be the lead shutdown corner, you are mistaken. He might drop to the second round. You want me to be practical with you. Be technical with you. I don't think he's the best cornerback coming in that draft next year. I'm sorry. If that's who the Eagles are tanking for, go trade for JC Jackson. Go trade for Stephon Gilmore. Go trade for Xavier Howard. Go get a Steven Nelson. Stay away from that bum. I'm telling you right now. If that's who we drafted for, I will flip the fuck out. I don't know what the Eagles are going to do. Are the Eagles trying to get acquired a corner from the Bills for the Zach Ertz? Because the Bills and the Eagles are supposedly close to trade for, with each other. I don't know what's going on. Is there a big package? I don't know. Go watch my video if you can see the Zach Ertz. I don't want him in Philly anymore because Dallas, Dallas Scott wants a new contract. We're going to talk about that in another video. What are the Eagles going to do at corner? Let me know what you think. Flag goes fly. And, uh, let's jump one out. Peace.